morning, everybody. It's Monday, the beginning of our honeymoon week, and we're going to Alligator Alley to kick off the week. You excited? We may not make it to week two. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, to be honest. <laughs> I think it's Alligator Alley. I don't know what it's called. It's an alligator farm. It's, it's a little ways from here. We got to do a bit of a hike to get there, but uh, I, I really wanted to go see alligators, and Britt said, okay. So that, that's our event for today. It's been a good 28 years. Yeah. I die now, so I made it to 28. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll go see what that's all about. No idea what we're gonna do uh, after that, but we do have some plans to sometime this week or the next to go parasailing. It's a little what foreshadowing. You mean, You're not going? Heck no! I'll sit on the boat and watch you. Well, me and John are going parasailing. Maybe Jay. Maybe Jay. <laughs> Brett will film it. I don't do heights. <laughs> We've been watching the, the Gulf Coast just out our window here and uh, watching people go parasailing. Well, if you don't know what that is, pretty much you start off on a boat and then they attach you to a parachute. And then they give her. And then they give her. Exactly. And the boat goes, I don't know how fast they go, but they go fast enough anyways that the air catches the parachute and it lifts you up like hundreds of feet above the water behind the boat. It's sort of like water skiing, except you're above the water, flying above the water. I don't know how to explain it. Google it. Or you can just wait to Josh has see never it. heard of parasailing until two days ago. No, I never have seen Have you ever heard of it? Yeah. Why you asked what was that? I'm well, I didn't remember because I'm I don't exactly live by the ocean. So once they explained what parasailing was, I'm like, oh yeah, the parachute behind the boat thingy. You don't have to do it with the boat. You can do it with the truck on land. You just gotta run really fast. Yeah, but then if you fall you hurt. My parents it did hurts. when I was a kid, I watched. That's awesome. So we gotta do something extreme while we're here, and so that's what we're doing. Don't know when we're gonna do that, but today, crocodile. No, alligators. There's no crocodiles Crocodators. in America. Crocodators. Something one of the two. We're gonna go watch some man-eating death beast beast things. What do you call them? They're scary. The fact that they're within driving distance from me right now, a little uncomfortable. Got the sunscreen on. Time to head out. Oh no, this pasty freckle. Freckly skin might uh, be real pink by the time I get back. Might match my tank top. I'll be just as pink with you. I'll, I'll be very well coordinated. Yeah. We'll, we'll look like a couple. Yeah, we're that sunburnt, pasty white Canadian couple. Clearly, they're Canadian. Who's walking around like this tomorrow? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> get into a bathtub. <laughs> it's our honeymoon. We don't see the sun much. Ready to go? Yep. I'm gonna put my sandals on. Maybe I should take my other camera too, just in case. Don't know if I'll use it or not, because this one doesn't do as well in sunlight. Grab the battery here. Got you guys charging down there. Uh -huh. This one doesn't do as well in sunlight because the, the lens, like I said, the lens is not the best. But we'll see what happens. Grab my phone here. My beard comb, let's not forget that. The important Jeez. stuff. Gotta keep this thing. The thing's wild. If you don't maintain it, it, it just runs rogue on you. All right. You know how they say that wives take forever to get ready? I'm always waiting on him. This thing takes some maintenance. It doesn't turn out this majestic by itself. Okay, she's gone. All right, I gotta catch up. Just pulled in here to Alligator Alley. I'm excited and scared. Get some crazy longhorns out front. Yeah. Weird because I was expecting alligators. You get some longhorn bulls <laughs> just out front. Maybe they're just guarding it, making sure the, the gators stay here. Little baby gators. Oh, really? They're so cute and ugly. <laughs> I like that guy in the 
sitting up all proud. He looks yeah. like he's one of the oldest ones there. He's the alpha, he's the leader. Yeah, he's not as fresh as the rest of them. He's gotta be good <laughs> Oh, these are these are four-year-olds. You want to throw some food at them? Want to break one of those in half, maybe? I don't really want to touch it. Here, mm -hmm. I'll Here. vlog you do it. Okay. Okay. They gave us these little turds to give to them. They look like dog poop, but smell like dog food. They smell like dog and the first, fish food. And Josh, being the awkward tourist, the first thing he does is he sniffs them in front of the lady. Okay. All right. Let's see what they do. Okay. Take a look at them. They're looking at me already. Okay. Those guys right there. Is he gonna get it? Yeah, he got it. He's just watching the kids like their treats. He's huge. Looks very well fed. He looks really happy. <laughs> it kind of looks like he's smiling. Why is it not even blinking? He's waiting for a kid to cross the fence. These are more two-year-olds. Look how many there are. Like, they're just everywhere. And you wanna see the big ones? Just look, like there's one back there, hanging out behind the fence over there and all along the shore on the other side. You see that? Yeah. He'll headbutt you. <laughs> That's Gatorade. He actually doesn't feel gross at all. No? Oh, there he is. That's Gatorade. Gatorade. Little Gatorade. <laughs> he looks really happy. You gonna tell him to lay down? Sammy, 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 there's nothing. Good job, pull me back out of the water. Should I get attacked by alligators? If that happens, a couple y'all jump in there and help him out, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sounded conflicted there. <laughs> all right, well, looks like we've got a couple interested alligators. I'm going to go ahead and ring the dinner bell, give them all a heads up. Let's hope all 200 or so don't show up at once. If they do, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Sound like a plan? Yeah. All right, here we go. Very high-tech alligator call. Never try that. So uh, currently inside the swamp with us, a little over 200 alligators, 204 to be exact. These are all nuisance wild caught alligators. Basically what has landed them here though is just being an alligator. What used to be creeks and swamps and bayous, they're going to keep coming I hope. What used to be creeks and swamps and bayous is now turned into waterfront property. Oh man. That was no good. We're going to start this thing out with a bang. Because I've got something pretty tasty right here falling out of my cooler that he's going to find. So if you guys are wondering what we were feeding out here, the vast majority of what we feed are feral pigs. Have you guys not seen an alligator before or what? What is wrong with y'all? But the vast majority of what we feed out here are feral pigs. If you were wondering, that was a pretty good example of them. If you don't have them where you're from, give a little while. I'm sure they're going to show up. Now, one good thing about them, though, is alligators are actually very good at association. They can associate times, places, colors, even sounds. So they see in color about as well as you and I do. Now, for some reason, pink happens to be their favorite color. Some of you ladies might need to watch out. Y'all stay in the middle. You'll be fine. But it doesn't take a very big alligator to ruin your day. Now what I mean by that is, is average bite on about a six to seven foot alligator, which this one right here is probably a little over seven feet. But at this size, their bite force is actually around four to 500 pounds, which doesn't seem like much weight. Most of you fellas probably put that up at the gym every week, don't you? 
<laughs> some of us knew we had some tough guys over there. Doesn't seem like much, but our arms and legs tend to start breaking around 450. Let's see who that is. One of them looks like JW. And one of them looks like Shredder. Come on, J Dub, get up here. Let's see if we can get him up. J Dub might just walk up the bank here. He's probably around a 12 and a half foot fella. Come on, J Dub. Quick, somebody jump in there, give him a push. He's having trouble. Or just being lazy. But J Dub is 12 and a half feet, probably weighing, oh, five, maybe even 600 pounds. You lazy alligator. All right, he got it. There you go, Shredder. to the back what they say the swamp is the bigger guys are. yeah the bigger guys are supposed to be back here yeah and we did find out that they do have them caged and they can't actually just go down the river to wherever they want they have to stay here that's good a couple of gators down here. Problem there's a, is, this is right in my eyesight, so I gotta go up on my tippy toes. There's a smaller one there, and there's a bigger one over there. Ooh. It doesn't seem interested. How come they look so dry? Haven't been in the water in a while? Huh. Not interested. Well, They're not very interested. At them. Huh. Nope. Splashed right in his face. He's like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Trying to watch my weight. Thanks, though. She's still looking for it. Got this big girl here. I'm gonna toss her a little bit of food here. I'm calling her Myrtle. I don't know her real name. Oh my goodness, your aim is horrible. There you go. <laughs> Probably pretty old. They said that they live up to like 50 years in the wild and 72 in captivity on average. Let's give her another one. Another one? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta go for that one. You gotta really move for that one. There you go. That seems awfully ambitious. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. That's a long one. That might be a boy. Wow. It's hard to gauge. Doesn't even say thank you. <laughs> Rude. Yeah. <laughs> we got a little guy down there. He's a little bit more ambitious. Oh, my. <laughs> he likes it. You could snap a few limbs in half. <laughs> That's awesome. Onward. Well, that was an experience to remember. That was super cool. That was a great date. Yeah. I recommend you all bring your wives and girlfriends here. <laughs> Had a lot of fun. We're headed back now. We're just leaving the parking lot here, so we'll see you back at the condo. See if Jade and John want to go for a swim or maybe go kayaking. We'll see. The sky's the limit. Our options are limitless. I don't know. I guess they're a little bit limited.